The DJI Power 1000 is a 1024 watt portable power station capable of supplying power to common appliances. Whether it's for outdoor leisure, entertainment, or situations requiring emergency backup power. With a 70 minute fast charging function, it's safe and portable and also has a DJI Power SDC fast charging function for DJI drones. While the DJI Power 1000 has a 2200 watt stable output until the battery is depleted, it can withstand 2600 watts for a short period of time. The DJI Power 1000 is also super quiet while it's charging and I will show you later in the video, but I was really impressed. With the dual 140 watt USB-C ports for ultra fast charging, you can charge two 16 inch MacBook Pros up to 50% in just 30 minutes. Today, we're gonna be looking at the DJI Power 1000 versus the EcoFlow Delta 2 portable power station. Hello and welcome back to another video where I talk about power stations. So I have talked about quite a few power stations over the course of last couple of years doing van life. And the reason I like to go over these types of things and subjects is because people are always asking about different power stations, which one's better, which one's the best. And honestly, they all are a little bit different. Today we're gonna to be talking about the EcoFlow and the DJI. This is the EcoFlow battery generator and this is the DJI Power 1000. DJI is very well known for their drones and their mics like I'm using right now and other things like that, but they are very new to the power station game. So I'm really looking forward to diving into this power station and seeing what it's about because I love DJI products and that's one reason why I really wanted to do this review. I've also never had an EcoFlow power station either, so this will be a learning experience for both of us. So as you saw, you can get this carrier for the DJI power station, which is nice to have so that you can store things that you wanna take with you and also have an easier carrying option versus just the handles on the side. This does open on the side so you can access those handles if you want, but it also has the handle up here to make it a little more convenient to carry. It also has a storage compartment in the back and it closes and opens up to all of your compartments in the front and has a little bit of storage on each side. So right now I do have it at 100%. I did charge it via the 110 wall outlet. Here you have your wall charger. So it is in the front, which is something I do like about this DJI power station is everything you need is in the front versus the EcoFlow, which I'll show you afterwards. But this is your AC wall outlet to charge it. Then you have these ports here, which go to your extra components. So this is your cigarette lighter component. Oftentimes you'll see power stations that do have the cigarette lighter port, but not a lot of people actually wind up using them. So this gives you the option to have that if you so choose. And it just plugs in right there. Then you can open it up and you have your cigarette lighter option. You can also use that for the other side, which is your car power outlet, as well as your solar panel adapter here. So this is the solar panel adapter. And again, this will go right in here. And here are your charging ports for that. It also comes with mounting hardware if you wanted to mount that. Using this adapter will give you the opportunity to use your car to charge the power station as you're driving, which for me in my first van, I didn't have solar. So this is what I used to charge my power station and it saved my butt. As you can see, it has your 12 volt chargers here. I have my drone batteries charging right now. It's output of 29 watts. You have your USB-Cs and your USBs. And over here to the, this far side, you have your AC outlets. So I'm gonna demonstrate using the AC outlets later on in the video. The USB and USB-Cs are good for computers, phones, and cameras, charging all of that type of gear. And of course the AC is great for more like appliances, 
which we'll get into. Now we're gonna move over here to the EcoFlow. This is the front of the EcoFlow with the display here. You have four USB ports and two fast charging, one regular, one USB-C 100 watt and one USB 100 watt on each side. And then you can turn off your DC here. What I don't like about this power station is everything's kind of scattered. So that's your DC. AC is on this side, except for this 12 volt port here to some people that might be a little inconvenient, but this is your AC part. This does have a lot of AC plugs and it has your charging ports here, four two prong ports and three three prong ports. Then you have an extra battery port here. There's vents on both sides on top. You definitely have to maneuver it around if you're gonna want to use any of the ports. So you have everything you need right here in the front. You can put this somewhere and you don't have to maneuver it around to use any of the ports. Now that we've kind of gone over each power station, we're gonna take this into my van and we are going to see the difference in each power station when using regular household appliances. Okay, so we are going to actually start with the DJI. We already have our AC turned on. So we are going to go ahead and plug in our Keurig here. All right, so we have everything ready. We're at 100%. Let's test this out. Now this Keurig is a 1500 watt Keurig and it typically pulls the most power while it's heating up. So to make a cup of coffee with the Keurig pulling nearly 1500 watts, we used about 3% of 100% battery and most of that was used while it was heating up. Let's go ahead and try the EcoFlow and see how it stands up against the DJI. Here's where the EcoFlow gets a little tricky. As you can see, the display is on this side and the 110 is on the back side. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in so we're gonna turn on the AC. Okay, so that is plugged in. Now, let's go ahead and test it out. This one we are at 98% starting. All right, here we go.
Okay, so this went from 98 to 96%. Now we are going to try a space heater. I'm gonna start with the DJI. Now we are going to try the EcoFlow. The EcoFlow is definitely significantly louder. Now we are going to compare the loudness of each power station while it's charging. Now let's do the DJI. Wow, I must say, I'm impressed. I promise you, it's charging. You can see on the screen here that it is charging. It's pulling in 614 watts, and you can't hear it whatsoever. That is actually extremely quiet. I am genuinely impressed. Overall, I think both power stations are really great. As you can see, you can hook both of them up to a solar panel, but you will have to buy adapters for each unit. They do not come with the adapters. They both retail at $999, but typically when you go online, you could probably find a discount for them. One thing I do like about the DJI versus the EcoFlow is that it does have a slightly larger inverter, which can be the difference in powering what you need to power. So it all really relies on personal preference. For me, being able to use my Keurig is a little bit bougie when it comes to van life, but it's something that I really love to have. Now, I love me a cup of French press every now and then, but the convenience of having a Keurig is top notch. Now, again, that's just my personal preference. For you, it may be like an air fryer or a 12 volt refrigerator, or if you don't do van life, but you like to camp or you like off-grid homesteading, these power stations are great for. And they're also great for just having extra backup power in a house in case of an emergency. And of the fact that I have so many friends and family who have been stuck in that situation where the weather was bad and their power went out and they had literally nothing. So it's always good to just have a power station on hand just in case. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I like to do these reviews because I do feel like it's important to have a variety of knowledge when it comes to power station and choosing which one is best for you. So I hope that this video helped you in deciding whether or not one of these power stations is what you are looking for. I personally really love DJI products. So I'm really excited that they have ventured into the power station game and I've been able to test it out and share that with you. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that it helped you in some way and I will see you guys on the next video. As always, thank you so much for watching.